Hi everyone, so this is another mirror reading, you and per your person, Jimin Bias Army. So hi everyone, you said you wanted to have this reading for every member, so let's do this, you know, I throw them out like every other day, you know, and okay, so let's see, this is one person and this is the other, okay, my name is Purple, welcome to this reading. I hope you guys are okay and you have fun with me here during this quarantine, you know, and um, please everybody, um, I would be very happy if you guys can subscribe to my channel, if you like the video, comment on the video and also <clears throat> if you support me via giving me a coffee, coffee or you know, um, booking private readings with me, I would be very happy, guys, okay? So this is the one person, this is the other person. So, let's see, um, okay, show me this person, what are their thoughts? You know, just give me the thoughts. One more. <clears throat> it's very interesting. The colors are similar. Ooh. Can I have... <clears throat> what is the summary of this in one card? One card universe. I don't want to <laughs> give me a summary of this situation here, of this thinking process in one card. Okay. Okay. Show me the thoughts of this person. I think I get them both, you know. And then we will talk about this, you know. Then I can compare it better. Oh, wow. Okay. Can you summarize those two cards in one card universe for me? Wow, two seven. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> this person is confused. It said no wonder, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that's like <clears throat> well you know this person over here knows there was an ending or um you know they don't want they don't know because this is also a swords card they have no idea how they can show this person that they love them they love them very much look at this they're like on underwater the cup is flowing over and this person here is very burdened because they daydream about this person a lot. So if you are this person here, you daydream a lot. You really want to be together with that person. You love them, but you are not and you have no idea how to make that through. Um, <clears throat> yeah, how to make that happen. And this person here is defending themselves. It's like... Two of them are a seven, so this means universal energy for me, you know, that's mirroring, they're mirroring. But this person is like wanting to come towards this person, like wanting to make this happen. They think about all the things, all the different things they can make happen so that they can be together with that person. And this person I see here, they... um. This is like the door is closed, you know. You see this? It's like a barrier. You know? And this is the card for balance, of justice. So um, they defend themselves. They want to balance themselves out. That's what I feel. Um, this person needs to find their own balance and that's why they close the door. You know, they say, no, my door is closed. You cannot come in. Like, no one can come in. Um... 
they need balance. So this person is alone, I feel. And they think that's okay, you know. They are, this is also the card for being successful. They, f they fight their own wars, you know. And um, <clears throat> they don't let anyone near them. That's what I feel. They want to balance themselves out. And this person really wants the connection. And this person has drawn away and says, no, I want to fight my own wars. Um, right now, I cannot be with that person because of the balance they need to find, okay? Very interesting, though. So, let's see their feelings towards each other. Show me the feeling space of this person here, universe. What's the others? <clears throat> yeah, see, they focus on their own stuff. They focus. There is a. There was a battle. They just came from the battlefield. <laughs> I said war, right? They closed the door. Show me this feelings towards this person. Yeah, they're waiting. But they... <clears throat> and they're waiting in front of their door. <laughs> yeah, they're really passionate. This person is really passionate about this one. They are focused on making money and uh, earthly matters. Can you sum this up in one card? Their thoughts. They are in their thoughts. Can you sum this up? Oh my gosh, yeah. So if you are this person here, what I see this person here, they waiting in front of their door, to closed door, and you know, there is this barrier, and this person has the one one, so this person here really loves this person. They say, this is my one, and I'm waiting here till I get old, I don't care. <laughs> and um, I watch you, you know, this person watches this person. They watch it over the internet. They look at their social media. And they want like this connection. They want four of wands. It's all wands energy in their heart. They really want to make this happen. This relationship. Um, like if this person could. They would run them over. <laughs> so they're really passionate about this person. And this person is like. For them love is like a war situation right now. They don't want this. You know they are very cold. It's like they cl they shut themselves off. That's why they close the door. They close the door. They say, no, I don't want to go at war again. Um, I need new ideas. Um, um, <clears throat> I need like an epiphany in, in love matters. And they focus on their self-love. Look at how this person... They feel very immature in love. That's what I see. Because it's a page. You know, it's not a king. So this could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be here a fire sign. Um, <clears throat> but I had, yeah, I had, I think, water and swords energy, water and air too. But this person here feels like an earth sign. And they feel like a page, you know, very immature in love. They, they didn't have much, they didn't have experienced much love. So they focus on their self-love, they focus on, as I said before, their door right now is closed because they focus on their own stability, you know, they don't look anywhere else. They think love is war and they don't want to go at war. That's why they closed off. They're waiting for new ideas to come in, for a new start in love. That's basically what it's saying, you know. But not in love, not for other people, but self-love, you know. That's what I say with the ace here. They wait, they want to start over and they shut everyone out. They, they are alone, I see that here. They are also single, but they want to be with them. Look at those cards, that's like green. Um, you know, the heart chakra, very focused on themselves. This person is um, really passionate, it's fiery. You know, it's very interesting. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, let's see. Action. What is this person doing? Show me universe. Two cards. What is this person doing towards the other person? Oh, wow. Oh. 
<clears throat> and I also I always have to connect the dots in the sense of what I have let before you know what I've put before what is this person doing here Can I have this card here? Sum it up in one card. Can you sum this up in one card here for me? <clears throat> and that's too much. I want just one card, universe. Can you sum it up in one card, please? Woof. Yeah, they are in love. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> that's why it fell on the higher fan. <laughs> this person feels this is their soulmate. Can you sum this card here up? <clears throat> oh, wow. That's very interesting. <laughs> I haven't expected this person to be like this in their action space, though. Because they feel closed off, you know? Let me see. <clears throat> well, you know, if you look at this, it's like, as I said, told you before, they need to balance out their yin and yang in themselves. It's like they're, they are their own wagon um, controller, you know. And <clears throat> I see the star here on the forehead. It's like, um, yeah, they try to balance themselves out. That's why they closed off to other people. And they're like a leader personality. They're the higher friend. Um, they preach, you know, they preach things. So um, they're very spiritual. So they focus on their spirituality right now. And it makes them more emotionally fulfilled. That's what I see here. And I think that's what they do. Yeah, they balance themselves out and they practice their spirituality. And they focus on being that leader personality. Let me see. That's what in their thought space. I want to look at all those cards. <clears throat> that's the thoughts. And that's their heart. Yeah, they also want to learn. They, 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 in their heart. Yeah. They are not in love with some, like. <clears throat> it feels like they concentrate on self-love because they think war, love is a war. And that's what I see here. It's like they, they are this leader personality. So they practice a lot of spirituality. And that makes them emotionally fulfilled right now. They concentrate on themselves. Because I see here the Hierophant is alone. The Page of Pentacles is alone. And the Justice card is alone. So they think, they also think it's just that, you know, that they are not together. Like they, they close the door. You know, they want to concentrate on themselves, like balancing out. We also see that here in their thoughts. That's what they have in their thoughts and that's what they do. They balance themselves out and that's why they have shut the door to their heart. Because they need, to, they see themselves as immature in love things. And they really want a commitment. They really want to marry. I see that here. That's what they're doing. They want to marry. They want to commit. This is a very committed person. And right now they're balancing out the stuff. And this person... <clears throat> They really think that this person is their soulmate. And they're doing all kinds of arts in the community. You know? Yeah, they really wish to be together with that person. That's all they want. You know? And they do all kinds of arts with that person. You know? For that person in the community. They, they are seen. But they feel really that this is their soulmate. They have a spiritual bond with them. So let's see... Yeah, that's why, that's why this person in their thought space, they, um, you know, they're confused how they can make this happen. And they watch them over the internet and they say, this is my one. They're really passionate. This is my one. I want a relationship with. I don't feel this, these two people have been together. This is a spiritual bond. Yeah, very strong spirit. This is one of our spiritual readings. <laughs> like always, you know, I have them on my channel. Yeah, I also see the star. So this could be one of our boys. You see the star on his head? 
this person wants really commitment. They want a committed relationship, but they need to balance themselves out first because they feel themselves as being immature in love things. They want a new start in love, yes, but um, <clears throat> right now they're concentrating on themselves. They're shutting everyone out. And this person really feels like this is their soulmate and they, they don't know how to reach them. But they watch them over the internet and they say, this is my one. I'm waiting I, and this is my wish, you know. And they're doing creative art. That's beautiful. <clears throat> so what is the universe saying? Summarize this whole thing in one card. Summarize this whole reading of this person in one card. Yeah, see, they want to get... And I see here the four and the five is a nine. So this person is alone. This person is not in a relationship right now. And they are in education, knowledge, perception. That's what I saw here. Where is it? They need to get another perception. And they, they get... um. They read books on that, also on that spiritual connection. What I feel here is that they awakened to their spiritual connection, to their spirituality. They awakened and right now they're trying to find out everything about that. They're learning. This is also what their the card, this one is saying. That um, they're learning about, they educate themselves on the hierophant, on the spiritual nature of their being here on earth. They try to balance out the yin and yang. So that's what they concentrate on finding and learning stuff about themselves. Okay, summarize this whole person with one card. And here we have, yeah, look at this, sound, music, silence, rhythm, vibration, wow. This person is getting really creative. This feels like, you know, really like one of our boys. This person is like, See the 3-3? Three, three? They know this is a spiritual bond. This person knows they both of them are connected by sound. And isn't it one? Oh, that's the light song, right? Watch lights, guys. Lights, we are connected by sound. That's so beautiful. And they know. This person knows this. They are in a spiritual bond with that person. And they are very creative. They, they learn to be creative because there's silence right now. See, there's silence. They are not in contact. Both of them are not in contact. Universe, what are you saying? What is between the two? What are you saying between the two? What are the energies? Oh, wow, yes. Look at this. It's blessings. And it's saying, count your blessings. A grateful heart attracts more joy, love and prosperity. So both of them are very, feel very blessed. So those energies hit both of them. So this person feels very blessed because they think they are in a spiritual relationship with this person. They are very creative because they want to move towards this person. And um, this person is awakening to this relationship. I think that's why the Ten of Cups is here. That's like, um, you know, the emotional fulfillment. But the emotional fulfillment has to start in themselves. So I think they just awakened. They learn right now everything about this and um, they also feel blessed that this is happening to them because, you know, when you know yourself and you're awakening and you feel the spiritual guidance, you know you're very blessed, you know. So, very beautiful Gemini reading, right? So, for all my Gemini army, very beautiful. I really love that. Aww. I always throw out my spiritual bond stuff here on my channel. So many of us are in spiritual bonds. It's so beautiful to see. I hope we're all finding our divine masculine, you know. I hope we're all getting to them one day. And we all can be happy and um, in 3D also. Not only in 5D, you know, but only also in 3D. Okay, guys, with that, I want to finish the reading. Bye, guys.